Hi, it's Tukwata Dean from the Evolving Woman TV. On this show, I share tips, tools, and resources to help women transform their lives. I empower women to feel confident in their authentic selves so that they can embrace an invigorating life with purpose and ease. I'd love to read your comments, so be sure to drop how you feel about these bold conversations in the comments below. Today, we're talking about identifying the end result in the beginning. In the book, The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People, habit number two states to begin with the end in mind. To begin with the end in mind means to begin each day, each task, or each project with a clear vision of your desired direction and destination. I wish I understood this principle. At the time when I was learning the song, we would sing for my primary school graduation ceremony. On graduation night, there I was, in my crisp school uniform, pleated blue skirt with a white shirt. I stood among my classmates in an overcrowded auditorium. And even though the air condition was on, I was sweating because I was so nervous. Our music teacher came over and on her signal, the entire graduation class rose. The music started and on cue, we all began to sing the song by Diana Ross, Do You Know Where You're Going To? I sang loudly, looking around the auditorium for my mom, who was beaming with pride from her seat. Her smile encouraged me to sing even louder, and so I sang at the top of my lungs. Do you know where you're going to? Do you like the things that life is showing you? Where are you going to? Do you know? Every time I hear this song, I remember my sixth grade graduation ceremony. Has that ever happened to you? Has a song ever carried you down memory lane? At the time of my graduation from primary school, around the age of 11, I had no idea what that song was asking. It wasn't until much later in life that I recognized the true meaning of that song. Had I known the full meaning of the song I proudly sang that memorable night, I would have done exactly what Colby recommends in habit number two. Start with the end in mind. During my life, I must admit, I achieved a good measure of success, almost effortlessly and also very randomly. Those achievements took me in no particular direction, so I still felt disillusioned about life. I was unhappy, depressed, and lost. Everything in my life didn't align until I knew what I wanted to focus on and that I recognized the type of life I wanted to live. I used this vision as a guide to create everything else in my life. I took ownership of my dreams instead of trying to be and do what everyone else wanted me to. Now, I get to thrive in my chosen career. I get to have the happy, healthy relationship with the man that nurtures and supports me, not being concerned about whether anyone approves of him other than me. I get to use my voice and to help other women know that we can become unstuck. I now feel happy, purposed, and fulfilled. We often, far too often, settle in life. We settle for what is safe. We settle for what is approved by others. We settle by believing what other people have said about us is true. We spend way too much time questioning our confidence and not enough time nurturing and reaffirming ourselves. Are you living your wildest, most beautiful dream? Or have you settled for a life that pales when compared to what you truly believe and desire? It's never too late to look back. 
It's never too late to project into the future and to figure out what you want to do and where you want to go. It is perfectly acceptable to question your life's purpose and to reevaluate what matters most in your life. You have to look forward toward the future at your biggest, wildest dream and know that it is possible. Believe that it is possible. Boost your confidence to have a strong sense of identity and to build the life you truly would love. I challenge you to find a quiet spot and ask yourself, what is my wildest, most beautiful dream life? Remove the limits. Dream big and honor your most authentic desires because you truly deserve it. Now, how did this conversation make you feel? Did you have any moments during the conversation where you experienced an aha? I'd really love to hear about it. Let's start a dialogue. Share your comments because I'd really love to receive them.